Texas, you're going to see some meaningful restrictions on abortion, and it's going to vary state by state how, how extensive those restrictions are. Um, that was the framers' view in the Constitution, is to let the, the, the rules in each state reflect the values of the citizens of those states. But in the redder states, there are fewer people that are going to be horrified. Hey, Ted. If you go back to the original Constitution, you're kind of going to lose Amy's vote and you're going to lose Clarence Thomas's vote because as much shucking and jiving as Clarence does, the original founding fathers mm, wouldn't have let a black guy on the Supreme Court and um, they weren't really big on women with opinions, not even handmaidens. Ted, you don't want to go back to the original. It might not work out for you. Oh, they didn't mention abortion. They didn't mention a lot of things, Ted. They didn't mention assault rifles either. Hmm. I think you're going to have a positive effect of people in the pro-life community who have been fighting for this for 50 years being energized. And, and I am hopeful that that being energized is going to cause them to turn out and vote at the polls. Uh, and I think that could lead to an even bigger majority in the House and the Senate uh, next year. Rebel HQ, it's Alonzo Bowden. I am back, TYT. I am back, and you can always find me at alonzobowden.com. Come check out a live show where I uh, rant a little longer. So, Lion Ted's talking about Roe v. Wade and it affecting the midterms. And before we even get into that, I have to say a couple of things. First of all, who's the guy who sits there and lets Ted lie to him? Like that? That's a hell of a job. Like, <laughs> this is a podcast. You just sit here and listen. Grin when it's appropriate and don't ask any questions. I, I don't even know who that guy is. I have to admire the way Ted BSs without even blinking. Without even blinking. First of all, he talks about angry leftists attacking institutions. After Republicans attacked the Capitol, they physically attacked the Capitol building. I do think the leak is a manifestation of how the Democrats are destroying our institutions, trying to burn them down. And in particular, the degree to which the leftists are cheering it on and literally saying, burn it down. The radicals really are in charge of this party. It's, it's not unlike uh, the Antifa riots in terms of just showing that these guys are extreme and crazy. And he talks about angry leftists. Then he talks about the Antifa riots, which I guess He's talking also about the insurrection. I, I really don't know. He talks about extreme and crazy. Aren't those Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lauren Burbert's nicknames? It, aren't they the comedy team of extreme and crazy? I think they're going to be touring next year. <laughs> and then he says angry leftists are uninformed. And, and honestly, the Republican Party, Trump, said that his biggest demographic is uneducated, uninformed white people. Like, that's who they go after. Ted didn't blink through that whole thing, just said it like it was it was true. So I, I don't know if I should admire that, but uh, yeah, I kind of do. And so I think the kind of angry leftists, many of whom are pretty ignorant and don't even know what overturning Roe means, I think a month afterwards are gonna be surprised, wait, nothing about my life changed. Now, I hate to say this, and believe me, I hate to say this, but I actually agree with Ted Cruz. I said that out loud. I actually agree with Ted Cruz. He's right. California and New York and other blue states will continue to allow abortions, which is good because that's where people from Texas and Tennessee and guys like him who have, you know, daughters and mistresses or whatever, they're going to have to go somewhere to get those abortions. So the blue states are where they're going to go. Here's another thing I have to agree with Ted on. The, um, and, and I like how he talks about it's the leak, not the Roe v. Wade, not, not overturning Roe v. Wade, but the leak, like that was the problem. But anyway, he's right. That's not going to tip the midterm elections. Listen, I think the Democrats are going to lose the midterms based on inflation, gas prices, and things like that. Um, that's what people look to. The, the Democrats are never good at explaining why these things happen. They won't be able to explain how they're not responsible for inflation, so they're going to take the hit for that. Also, Democrats aren't good at the old, hey, look over there. Look over there. See, Republicans are good at look over there. Like when Republicans crash the banking system, they're like, hey, look over there. Gays want to get married, and transgender people want to go to the bathroom. 
hey, look over there. Barack Obama is coming to take your guns. Do you realize Barack Obama was coming to take your guns for eight years and he still hasn't got around to my house to take my gun? See, this is the problem with Democrats. They're lazy. That's right. Barack hasn't had a job in years and he still hasn't made it to my house to take my gun. Has he been to yours? Probably not. Uh, he's playing golf on Martha's Vineyard. Come on, Barack. Let's take away those guns. Yeah, that kind of idiocy works on Republicans. They believe it. It's the look over there theory. Don't look at what we're doing. Look at what we tell you. Stay scared and it works. Democrats aren't good at it. Uh, there are several of us who are conservatives who've been trying to make the case to the, the nervous Nellies in our conference. It'll be okay. This is going to be fine. And I actually think it probably will not have much of an effect on the midterms, and to the extent it has an effect, it will be a positive effect. Republicans took away a Democratic president's legitimate right to nominate a Supreme Court justice. Republicans have been taking away black people and other minorities' right to vote all across the country. Republicans are trying to take away kids' rights to read certain books that they don't approve of. Do you really think they're going to have a problem taking away a woman's right to choose? Do you think Republican women are going to be the savior? Republican women have said it's okay to grab them by the mother, you know. Do you really think they're going to be upset over men telling them what to do with the rest of their bodies?